Carol. Semicone has come up with quite a few yummy ideas that will serve you well over the next few weeks. Fast and easy recipes with just a few ingredients. Oh, that's key right there. <laughs> Fast nice. and easy key because we're just trying to, we're, we've got party after party to go to and all that stuff. And yeah. so this is something that will be easy to do. It is. And you know, it came from my friend Mary Elizabeth that said she invited her daughter's kindergarten class over because a lot of them weren't from this country. And she mm -hmm. said, I don't have a place for them to sit. I don't have plates, forks, knives. Okay. She said, Thanksgiving in a bite, right? So yeah. this is three courses, three ingredients, super easy. Okay. So the first that we already pre-made is the uh, the pumpkin delight dip, and mm -hmm. basically it's just pumpkin pie filling, marshmallow fluff, and softened cream cheese. That's, That's it. it. Uh huh. Totally it, and we serve it with the sweet potato chips. Okay. And the cinnamon apple chips to give you that really you know bursting taste of fall there. So really okay. easy. Serve it chilled. That's it, but what I'm gonna have you, you ready to get your hands dirty a little bit? Sure, <laughs> well, it means I can't eat right now. You okay. can't eat right now, okay. So we're gonna do our Thanksgiving in a bite. So basically it's crescent roll that we rolled out here. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves crescent rolls exactly. on Thanksgiving, right? And I'm just taking a bottle cap here and I'm getting a little circle, okay? okay? So we do that and you put that in the bottom of a mini muffin tin, okay? And we've got some here already. All right. And you just do your Let's little take the fork, and fork here. And what I'm gonna have you do, Leland, is that that's gonna go in the oven for just three minutes, just to mm -hmm. pre-bake it. Okay. And as soon as those come out, you're gonna put a slice of turkey in it. Now you can see here, I've got some, I just went to the deli, and I asked oh, for yeah. an eighth uh -huh. inch cut of this turkey meat here. If you've got leftovers, that's great to use, okay. of course, after the fact. But we cut it in little squares here, and we just push those into the crescent rolls after mm -hmm. they come out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Then we take some, your box stuffing, right? So you okay. can do that. You can put a little dollop, about a half of a teaspoon, on top of the turkey there. And I'll put some out while you're doing that. All right. And then I'm going to have you do the fun part with the mashed potatoes. Right. That's a dollop. <laughs> That's a good dollop. <laughs> so you do that. Okay. And then what I want you to do is grab that little mashed potato gun over there. Are you ready for it? Ooh. <laughs> I knew you'd like that part. Fun. And you can do this. Yeah, be careful. Do you have a license? <laughs> I, I do not. <laughs> so you're going to make try as pretty as possible for you. <laughs> Do that right on top it's of the stuffing. Yes. And that I should have tried this out before the show. You probably should have. Here, there you go. You got it. Okay. Uh, not bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, sure. Right. And it looks like this. It looks like <laughs> that, yes. All right. So you're going to do that all of that. Then now, if they don't have thing. this, they can uh, do the old trick. Take a Ziploc bag, yeah. just do a little cut at the bottom of it. The key is that the mashed potatoes hold it together. And again, we just creep off these. It just won't be as fun coming out of a Ziploc. <laughs> I so want to do this. All right, I'm going to be good. So you do that. So you put it back under the broiler for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. It comes out like this. And then you just do a little dollop of the cranberry relish right on top. You can do that finished row right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it just gives you that perfect Thanksgiving in a bite. Ah. And again, no forks, no knives. You don't even need a plate, really. Okay. All right, so we've got this. Now you got some mini pumpkin pies. Yeah, they're actually little sweet potato pies. Are they okay? Lines. Yes, and so it's, all it is is a vanilla wafer that we put into that same mini muffin tin. Is it really? That's yeah. a vanilla, vanilla? It's a vanilla wafer on uh -huh. the bottom there. Sweet potato pie filling that you can either buy, make yourself. I even heard someone say, take some baby food and just doctor it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It, for the kids' table, yeah. Don't bring any baby food to my table. It's, <laughs> it's pure sweet potato. I've done baby food before when I had to okay, feed them, but okay, I don't okay. them at Thanksgiving. But you put your sweet potato soup, you know, pie filling in there, yeah. and then you just put three mini marshmallows and broil it, and look how cute and easy it that is. It does look cute. Isn't that great? I, thought, I like that. And yeah. we, we tested these out on our friends. They're all friend approved. Mm -hmm. So, and it's just everything. What about kid approved? Kid approved, too. Yes, the kids love them. Even with the sweet baby potato. food? We didn't use baby food. I just, I thought it was a good idea if you're <laughs> I'm here to save you money and save you time. And you will save a ton of money using baby food. I guarantee you that. All right, here we go. There they are, all three of them. We've listed a couple of these online in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. You will find more holiday shortcuts at sammycone.com. All right, as always, we love it when you're here. Thank, Thank you. you. Up next on this TGIF edition of Talk of the Town, I know a couple of hints in this direction go a long way. Long, long way. <laughs> if jewelry is one of your ideas of the perfect gift, see some beautiful choices for holiday giving still to come. Yes.